and grow YouTube show. In terms of your best recommended plants, if I'm a beginner and I want to try, you know, a carnivorous plant for the first time, it sounds like you're recommending tropical pitcher plants, cape sundews, or butterworts. Yeah. Um, do you have any recommendations for maybe people who have tried a carnivorous plant before that like might be like a 2.0 recommendation? Sure. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about it. It's such a big hobby and you can start off with a nice, easy plant like that Nepenthes aleta that one of your um, listeners questioned mm -hmm. about. That's a really easy, basic plant, mm -hmm. but there are actually like 170 different species of tropical pitcher plants alone. And I mean, Nepenthes aleta is a beautiful little plant with like six inch red waxy pitchers that are kind of narrow, but some tropical pitcher plants can grow pitchers that will be like hold three liters of digestive fluid and be like two feet tall. Wow. There's, there's also ones that grow on top of very tropical mountains, ultra highland areas like Nepenthes loei and Edwardsiana, which are very um, hard to grow and rare in collections. So, I mean, we have those here and I've been growing them for like 20 years to get them to look the way I want them to look, you know. Um, so we have everything. You can start with the Cape Sundew, but you could also start with a really hard Nepenthes that almost nobody is growing and help figure it out. So, you know, we're we're actually figuring out how to grow a lot of these new species here. So once you're really deep in the hobby, there's plenty of room for you to, you know, keep playing try around. Much, yeah. Try a harder plant to grow. Just like orchids, you can start with a Phalaenopsis, but then, geez, there's Mastavellias, there's Draculas, there's everything. 